Hello, in this video, we'll show you how to do the feed water setup. After you have designed your system design, you would then click on the feed setup screen to call the feed setup. Here you have a couple of key things that need to be filled in. First, you need to define your water type. The design guidelines for um, ultrafiltration depend on the source of the water, uh, whether it's a wastewater, a surface water, well water, etc. So you need to pick what kind of a water type you had. The second thing you have to f enter is what are your suspended solids. Um, you can enter your turbidity, you could enter your TSS, you could enter your organics. These three values are important because they are used to pick what is called the water subtype, which would be give you the exact design guidelines that will be used for your design. Next, you would enter other parameters about your feed water. For example, the temperature range between your minimum, your maximum, and your design temperature, your pH. And then at the bottom here, you would enter your water composition. Well, ultrafiltration does not necessarily need to have all of the feed water, water composition parameters entered. It is usually a good idea to do so because then you will get more accurate estimation of chemical demand for pH adjustments. If you do not know your water chemistry, we have a water library up in the top right where you could pick a pre-existing water that would give you at least a rough approximation of major bodies of water in the world. And that would at least give you a reasonable starting point for your um, feed water. Um, if you want to save your feed water, you can use the save to water library and then it would be saved in the water library and then you could use that exact same feed water for another project at a later time. Um, the last thing to enter is WAVE will require that your water be charge balanced to a very high precision. Um, the waters in the water library were already balanced, but if I make a change in something, you can see down here that the water is no longer charge balanced, and then I will need to take an action to balance the water. And then up at the top, you will have several options of what you could do based on um, what you know about your water, you can make a pick. So you could add something. In my case, I could add chloride because I deleted the chloride. Or you could adjust everything, you know, all the cations, all the anions, every ion. Or I could adjust the total amount of the CO2 bicarbonate carbonate family. Or I could adjust the total pH. So depending on what you know about your water, you would make a decision as to the best choice on how to charge balance your water. In this case, I just added chloride because I had manually changed the chloride. We now have a charge balanced water and we are done with the feed water screen and now we can go on.